Live from the Cougars Softball Complex in Houston, Texas, it is the 1-0 Houston Cougars against the ninth-ranked 3-1 Nebraska Cornhuskers. It's a gorgeous day for softball as the temperature is in the upper 70s down here in Houston. The wind is blowing out to right right now at about 10 to 15 miles an hour and the skies are partly cloudy. But ready to go, the Huskers against the Cougars at the beginning of week two of Big Red Softball and week two in college softball. One, two on the way from Edwards and Hernandez swings and misses and she's down on strikes. 1-1 one, one on the way from Edwards. Holland swings and misses. Ball pops out of Edwards. Bet the runner goes for third. The throw is there in time to get her. Decker swings and lines up one into right field. It's down for a hit. Edwards to second on her way to third. The throw by Gearbach is off the cutoff, man. So Decker is going to take second and dive in there safely. Good awareness by Haley Decker. Now the batter is Kendra Cole, and she's after the first pitch. Grounds it short. Right at Armstrong, who grabs and throws first in time. Six pitches, three outs, and Houston is done. The 3 2 on the way from Trump. Burnett swings and grounds it towards short past the diving Hernandez and on into left center field. So a base hit for Austin Ernest. Tatum delivers. Change up to Vila, swings and misses, and she's down on strikes. The third strikeout of the game for Edwards. She's up there now. It's the first one from Shrum. Swung on and flared into short left field, down for a hit. Shrum to Edwards, who swings and lines that one into left field, down for a hit. So back-to-back -back singles from Tatum and Taylor. Shrum deals the 3-0. Decker swings and grounds it towards second, past the second baseman and on into center field. Tatum Edwards around third, she's gonna score. And the Huskers take a one to nothing lead in the bottom of the third inning as Haley Decker drives in her fourth run of the year. First one from Strum. Muir swings and hits a hard ground ball in right field for a hit. Taylor Edwards around third trying to score. Gearbox throw home is not in time. Taylor scores. Two to nothing, Nebraska on Muir's RBI single through the right side. Kylie has driven in sixth this year. Full count pitch, change up, taken for called strike three over the inner half of the plate. Colm started to swing and held up as Shrum deals the 3-2. Knight swings and lines it into left field, it's down for a hit. Muir has scored, and around third comes Fowler. The throw home from Colm, not in time. So that at bat, I was just saying attack and just stay within myself the whole entire time. And I wasn't going to let the pitch before affect me, I was going to let it stay in the now. I feel like us as a whole could have played better, as an individual could have played better, but we came up with a win and we were kind of rough at the beginning, but then we picked ourselves up and we kept on pushing throughout the game. I feel like if we keep working hard and staying within ourselves and be determined to be the best that we can be, I think that will be fine and we'll keep winning. Second and third and two outs. Edwards deals. Change up, Holland swings and foul tips it into the middle of Taylor Edwards for strike three. And the Huskers hang on by their fingernails and knock off Houston by a final score of four to one. A gutty pitching performance from Tatum Edwards. She ends up picking up her third victory of the year. Huskers win it tonight by a final score of four to one. We'll step aside and have our totals for you here in just a moment. It's the 0-1 Army Knights against the 4-1 ninth-ranked Nebraska Cornhuskers. It's turning into a little chillier night, but still very comfortable here in Houston. From right, the next one from Roy, and Edwards swings and hits a high fly ball, deep to right center field, and it is gone! A two-run home run from Taylor Edwards, and just like that, the Huskers take the lead, 2 to nothing on Taylor's first home run of the year. And Tyson swings and it's a little flare on the right side. It's going to get down for a hit. Ernest around third trying to score. House won't throw home. On to third goes Fowler. Ernest scores and Nebraska leads it by a score of three to nothing on the little flare to the right side by Donna Tyson. Pitch on the way from Roy and Armstrong swings and it's a high fly ball. Deep left field to the wall is Gonzalez and it's gone. A three run home run for Armstrong. Six to nothing Nebraska. Wine the 2-2 two -two pitch. Roshumskis lines it to third, caught by Taylor Edwards. And they'll have no play on win at second. 2-2 two -two on the way from Lockman. McCravey swings and it's a high fly ball. To right center field, but to her left, and now coming in is Stokes, and she makes the catch. He deals the 2-2. Two -two. Ernest swings and punches one into short left field. It's down for a hit. Austin Ernest with a leadoff single. Pitch swung on and chopped around home plate by Gonzalez. It rolls into fair territory. Nolan picks it up, throws first just in time to get Gonzalez for the first out here in the bottom of the third inning. 1-2, Reshenska swings and misses, and she's down on strikes. 
And Army goes one, two, and three here in the bottom of the third inning. It's been quiet for NU. The three, two pitch swung on and missed by Carden for strike three. That's the third strikeout of the game for Lockman. And Army is done in the fourth. As Fowler swings and glass this one to left and over her glove and off the wall. Decker has scored. It's an RBI double for Maddie Fowler and now the Huskers lead by a score of seven to nothing. I wanted to see us um, really go out and play Nebraska softball. I think that was probably the thing in the first game. I didn't feel like we played Nebraska softball all seven innings and, and you know we want to hold a high standard. So they're going to hear from me a little bit when we don't meet that standard. Uh, and, and sometimes it, it's even a more powerful message when you're able to pull out the victory and you, you know you, you didn't um, meet the standard that you expect out of yourself. It's just behavioral standards. So, uh, but they responded and I'll say this, you know, we're 75% underclassmen and there's going to be a learning curve here the first few weeks of the season. The 2-2 from Lockman. Gap takes a curve. That is over the outside corner. A called strike three and that'll be the end of the game. The Huskers by a final score of seven to nothing, a not very demonstrative strike three call by our home plate umpire, but a strikeout looking of Gap, the fifth strikeout of the game for Lockman, and the Huskers win it by a final score of seven to nothing. It's the one and two, Sam Houston State Bearcats against the ninth ranked five and two Nebraska Cornhuskers. It's still a very nice day for softball. The temperature in the mid 60s. And the wind is still blowing out to left field at between 15 and 20 miles an hour. Well, how do the Huskers respond after a lethargic effort against the Lady Jacks of Stephen F. Austin results in a one nothing Stephen F. Austin victory over the Big Red. We'll see how the Huskers bounce back today. Lockman with a 2-2 pitch. Slater watches that one over the outside corner, a cold strike three. So Emily Lockman picks up right where she left off. The 2-2 from Barros. Edward swings and grounds it back up the middle for a base hit just past the diving second baseman Coggins and on into center field. Lockman winds and deals. Gonzalez swings and grounds to third. Knight edges to her left to grab it. She throws to first low but scoops well by Fowler for the third out of the inning. 1-1 one, one on the way. Knight swings and rounds back up the middle base hit. On into center field. Matt keep flicking. One out, no one on. Lockman deals. Castillo swings and misses and she's down on strikes. Second strike out of the game for Lockman and there are two outs. Winds and deals. Decker swings and lines at one in the left center field. It's down for a hit and it'll roll all the way to the wall. Decker around first on her way to second. Gray up with the ball. Her throw into second wide of the bag. So Haley Decker with a scorched double. Fowler shows bun on this first pitch, pulls back the pitch from Barra, swung on and lined into right field, down for a hit. Decker will score and the Huskers lead it by a score of one to nothing as Maddie Fowler drives in her fifth run of the year and a 2-2 from Blockman. Gray swings and it's a fly ball down the right field line into foul ground, goes for Ness. And she makes the catch for the first out here in the top of the fifth inning. 3-2 pitch from Blockman. Slater swings, grounds it short. Armstrong to her right to grab it. She throws first in time. For the third out here in the fifth inning, and Wine borrows pitch. Knight swings and lines it back up the middle of base hit. On into center field. The 0-2 on the way from Barros. Decker swings and hits a fly ball to right field. Pelton going back. She makes the catch in front of the track. Knight tags at third. She'll come in to score, and the Huskers lead it by a score of 2 to nothing as Haley Decker drives in her fifth run of the year. We finally um, kind of strung a few together right there. Decker leads off with a big double and kind of gives us some momentum, and then Austin lays down a butt and um, kind of strung them together there is what we kind of needed all day. Our goal is to stay in every pitch. Um, our pitchers did a great job today of having a presence the entire time. Tatum and then Emily came in and finished that too. And just um, we need to follow them because they were in it today and kept us in both games. We need a spark. Decker came up with that today and we followed it and she had another big RBI later. So that um, was clutch from her and um, we all just kind of need to follow through and um, bust out tomorrow. Just stay with our approach, um, trust the preparation, and then it'll show up for us. A 1-1 from Lockman. Gonzalez swings and hits a fly ball to right field. Ernest back, pulls up well in front of the track, makes the catch, and the Huskers beat Sam Houston State by a final score of 2-0 thanks to a fantastic pitching performance from Emily Lockman. She retires the last eight she faces and drives the Huskers to a 2-0 win.
It's the one and four Sam Houston State Bearcats against the ninth ranked six and two Nebraska Cornhuskers. It's a fairly nice morning for softball. The temperature at 61 degrees and a little bit of a breeze out to left field. 2-2 pitch, Stokes swings and it's a little flare in the short center field and it gets down in front of Gray for a hit. It's 2-2 all the way from Lockman. Adams swings at a changeup, grounds it toward short. Armstrong in and toward the left to grab it. She shovels to second for one, the turn on first. Not in time! Lockman with a 3-2 pitch. Allison swings and misses and she's down on strikes. 1-1 one, one on the way from Lancaster. Stokes swings and lines it back up the middle of base hit. Caught into center field. Fowler trying to score. Gray's throw skips in, so Fowler heads back to third. The throw to third, not in time to get Maddie. Lancaster delivers. Woolman swings and it's a little flare toward short. It's out of the glove of the shortstop. Allison into short center field. Fowler has scored. Knighton comes in to score. Woolman scoots into second as the throw came home. And Nebraska leads it by a score of two to nothing. The one-two pitch and Decker swings in. Rounds that one through the third base side and on into left field. Go to on the way from Lancaster. Ernest swings and it's a little flare in the right center field. To her right's the right fielder Pelt and she can't make the catch and it rolls all the way to the wall. Decker around third. She'll come in to score standing up. Three to nothing. Nebraska on the line drive double to right center field by Ernest. One two on the way from Lockman. Slater swings and grounds it to third. Knighton has it. Throws first in time and the runner at third stays put. And the 2-2 on the way from Lancaster, and Edwards swings, and it's a high fly ball to left field and deep. Slater going back. It's gone. A two-run home run for Taylor Edwards, and the Huskers lead it by a score of 5-1. to one. Lockman's 2-2. Slater swings and grabs it to short. Armstrong charges, has it, throws first in time. The runner trying for third. Fowler's throw to the night, and it's there to get Keevil going to third. It's a double play for Nebraska. Just their second of the year, and that'll end the inning. Winds and deals the 2-2, and Woolman swings and lines that one back up the middle of base hit on into center field. Pat Woolman's for Taylor Edwards. Lancaster's pitch, and Taylor swings and ends a fly ball to center field and deep. Gray going back. It's gone! A two-run home run from Taylor Edwards. Her second home run of the game. And the Huskers lead it by a score of 7-1. to one. I mean, my goal just every bat is just to hit the ball hard and just have fun. I mean, I, me personally, I don't care what the outcome is as long as I have a good approach to it, a good swing, and I just want to make solid contact. Just as a team, our goal was to just play Nebraska softball and do the little things the right way and do them with everything that we had and don't leave anything behind. Bishop gets the sign. Heels the 1-1. One -one. Coggin swings and lights to short. Armstrong takes it on the short hop. Flips to second for the force on Marino to end the game. A nice last game effort from Nebraska. Really a complete effort from the Big Red. Nebraska defeats Sam Houston State by a final score of 7-1. to one.